Bruce Lawn. All right, seldom do I come on here with more questions than answers. So this is definitely one of those videos with more questions than answers about this milk crate challenge that's taken over the U.S. and taking over the Internet and Instagram specifically. I've been watching it. Some of it is really funny. I got a Bible verse that I'm going to try <laughs> to tie this into, a verse for y'all. People are climbing up these milk crates and getting to the top of them and then oh, falling really, really bad. Is it, There's a bunch of these guys, and some of them are really... Oh, my gosh. There's a girl that did with heels on that made it to the top and over. One of a guy rolling a blunt and, and, and walking, which is... He's going up there rolling up a blunt. He said he's too comfortable. He's too comfortable. Ooh. Ooh. Apparently, there's this guy named White Mike. He's too comfortable. He's too comfortable. He's too comfortable. Ooh. Uh, question number one is... Where are you guys getting so many milk crates from? Like, how, like, where are these coming from? This, I mean, this looks like close to a hundred milk crates. Okay, that is that's a lot of milk crates. Where are the milk crates coming from? Where, like, is there clearance on milk crates? We're down in supplies of everything else. Lumber is low. There's all these chain supply chain problems with food because of you know the economy being suppressed, and now all of a sudden. Now all of a sudden there's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of milk crates. Uh, so that's that's my my first question is where are the milk crates coming from? My second question is why 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 are we doing it? Is there money involved? I saw Boosie in one of these videos putting up money. Are the are there is there like these like community parties to put together fundraisers for people? Like what, what what's going on here? But I'll tell you what got me hip to it outside of my wife was this video posted by. That's not Christian. I'm going to get to this Bible verse here in a second. But this video from That's Not Christian was hilarious. Okay? This says, when you lean on your own understanding. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Fam. This is a big boy, too. Oh my gosh. At that point, you just got to go for it. Oh, the look on his face. He landed. I mean, he ate that. He ate that. So this, <laughs> this is, yo, th this is, it's funny from one standpoint. It is funny. I'm not going to lie to you. It is funny. But it's also alarming from another standpoint. Like, why are we doing this? Like, what is the motivation here? Is it really just for clout? Is it because people are bored and it's hot? And so when people, when it's hot outside in the summertime, people just start doing wild stuff. I really legitimately have way more questions than answers because some of these look mad dangerous. And that was impressive. Let's see if this, this one, I think he nails it. Oh, he landed on his head, fam. This girl, she did it with with um with with heels on, and this was impressive. Okay, this is like, oh, this is gonna go really bad. But you could tell she approached this with some strategy. She has some. She has some. Um, she looks athletic. Like she looks the way her stance are. Think about how many crates that is. That's a lot of crates, fam. She said be quiet. I'm gonna oh my mute. god. I'm gonna mute them. I'm gonna mute them. But this is impressive. She makes it through here, which in heels. Alright? In heels. The verse that, that I thought of instantly, the verse that I thought of instantly was Jesus in Luke 4, 12, citing Deuteronomy where Satan is trying to tempt Jesus. And Jesus says, it is said, do not put the Lord your God to the test. And this is a, um, a reference to Deuteronomy 6, 16, which is what Jesus is quoting back to Satan as Satan is trying to tempt him. Do not put the Lord your God to the test as you did 
at Matt Massa. I think that's how you say that, Massa. So my my question is, for anyone that's participating in this, uh, why? Because I'm really curious. Is this some kind? Is this a tacit, or is it just literally like an inner? Like I remember, you know, twelve years ago, ten years ago, the 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 challenge was like. What was that challenge that everybody did? The planking challenge, right? Like people just like plank. Y'all remember the planking challenge? Like I remember challenges that didn't put your life at risk. Now there's full on people doing this milk crate challenge. And I think like people are starting to get seriously injured from this. Yeah, the ice bucket challenge, right? But I saw one where someone intentionally ran into the crates. Yeah, I don't even want to watch this video, but I saw this and I'm like, fam, is there somebody on the top of this thing? Like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? So th this is one of those times where I just sit back and go like, wow, is humanity really this far gone? You know, putting your your life and your health on the line, like we're, we're in the middle of a pandemic. People were afraid of this COVID thing and potentially, you know, getting really sick, losing that work. But like now this is not like you might catch a virus, like you willingly going into the lion's den and just playing with God, I feel like. Because you could fall and break your neck. I guarantee you, if someone hasn't already got seriously hurt, somebody will, and it's, and it's going to be really sad, right? And so it, uh, this is where the internet goes wrong, right? This is where, uh, where we have access and we connect and all these different things, but this is really where just the internet just, just, just baffles me, and I don't understand. Again, maybe I'm missing it. If I'm missing it, in the comment section below, educate me. I heard a quote and I think it was from uh, Matt who I'm gonna have on the channel uh, later this, this week. Matt from the 10 Minute Bible Hour. And he said, there's nothing more dangerous than a bored warrior. There's nothing more dangerous than a bored warrior. I think there's some of us who have a purpose and a desire in us to go to, for purpose and uh, to, to do something adventurous with our lives and we don't have healthy outlets. And so we do stuff like the milk crate challenge, which I think is senseless and meaningless. Find something productive to channel that energy and that uh, willingness to take risk, right? Challenge, channel that into something that's not going to give you a ton of downside, but you potentially hurting yourself and little upside. That's what I think about this whole thing. So yeah, let me know what y'all think. Kingstream Entertainment. Bruce Lawn. Yo, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. If you found it valuable, considering giving it a like and subscribing. This month, I'm releasing the Love What You Do collection. And to celebrate, I'm doing a three-day virtual event to help us go from learning to love what we do to ultimately doing what we love. By the way, it's free, so hit the link in the description to grab your seat today. <laughs>